Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. It's Toledo, Ohio. 43617-419-531-6097. You can find the shops, Facebook information in the description below. And it's JC's Comics and More.com. Also like to say that this coming Sunday, the 24th will be the final day you can walk in physically and purchase anything at Video Game Underground here in the same plaza as we are. You can find their Facebook information in the uh, description below also. Uh, so Sunday will be the last day you can actually walk in and physically buy stuff. And then Monday it's Video Game Dead in the Ground. So I'd like to wish him all luck. It is almost uh, 21 years of business. But... Um, uh, stuff does happen, unfortunately. Uh, here's some of this week's new comics. We've got a couple of the heavy metal comic size magazines. We've got Darkwing number two. That's No Duck. And you got Savage Circus number two. So we've got both of those. And we've got this next one here. There's no Costello here. It's just Abbott. 1973. From Boom Studios, issues one and two. And then this is the one per store variant on that. You have to check the shop tomorrow to see what price is on that. Well, we got one of those. And so we've got those there from Boom Studios. And as stated in my previous video, that the camera is still. Uh, still have not received the camera yet. It's still being worked on. Uh, it has been, um, uh, my credit card has been charged, so it either means it's just about done or it's on its way, but, uh, but soon. But I certainly do appreciate uh, all the, uh, the help uh, that Mr. E has uh, given to, for the uh, camera here. Uh, but we've got American Ronin, uh, issue number four, and Avengers uh, 41. That's part two of the Phoenix storyline. Here we've got the 1 in 10 design variant. I'm not sure what price is going to be on that. Here is part of the connecting variants. Here is the versus alien variant. So you've got Black Panther versus the alien. Uh, I'd like to say Black Panther won that one, but I'm afraid alien might, uh, you know, you know, with that, especially, you know, he's he's getting some uh, that alien blood on him. Boy, oh boy, we see that stuff eats through anything. You know, his high tech might not be high enough to uh, to be able to get get out of that mess. Here we've got the Barbara Lean, Red Planet number three from Dark Horse. From Xenoscope, we've got Bell, Dead of Winter. This covers A, B, and C. And A, B was not Antonio Brown, by the way. There you've got that. A couple of nice looking covers there. Here we've got Black Cat, the King in Black, Black Cat number two, cover A, cover B. B versus the aliens. Again, there's no way she's going to be one dead kitty. You know, you're going to be scraping her off the floor with a spatula there. And even if it has a peach mocha cover. <laughs> now we've got this cover here. That's a pretty nice looking cover there. And the 1 in 25 this time actually looks nice. There's no buck toothery going there. That's the 1 in 25 there. And uh, so we'll have that available. I think I know who's uh, it's going to be interesting that, so I'll make sure that that gets set aside for them. Let's get these out of the way. I know you're ready for some bite-sized issue number two from Upshot. And then you've got cable number seven. And look at him. He's a single father. Look at him. He's... Got cable. I wonder if he's got the dish. Next. And this is, believe it or not, you might think this is a D cover. It's, it's an A cover. 
but I've never seen an A cover look like that before. Have you seen A covers look like that before? Probably not. But but that's that's A, not D's. It's not terrible. Well, I guess it is. It's double featured. So we do have a couple of double D's here. There you go. See? I'm not making this up. It's not terrible. But I know George, George probably, he'd probably have problems with it. But we have a problem with the George R.R. R. Martin Clash of Kings. This is uh, based on the, um, the series. This is issue 10 of Clash of Kings. Next we've got, we got the Courier. Uh, I think there's just two covers of this. But there's an A and a B. If there's a C cover, I might have got short at that. It's not like Xenoscope to do just two covers. Especially on a number one. You know, who they think they are, Marvel? And speaking of number ones, not Crimson and Clover, Crimson and Flower. That's from Dark Horse, issues, issue one, cover A and B. And then we got a second printing of Daredevil with Elektra as Daredevil, or Elektra wearing his costume. She's cross-dressing his costume out. Uh, issue number 25, second printing, and The Expanse, number two of four on that. And I see that Electra is going to take over uh, for Matt in a couple of issues for probably for a few a few months. Uh, but nothing is going to stop the fish kill number three, and it's time to get gun hole. That's issue one. Look at that. What more do you want? Bikinis and, and high powered uh, rifles. Man, it's a sexy beast right there. See, it says right there, sexy beast. I'm not making it up. It's not terrible. But there might be Hollywood trash involved. And that's the first issue of that. But there's always hope under fire. It's a graphic novel that we got in. And hopefully you will like that. See? Hope under fire. And I breathe a body. It was the Immortal Hulk Volume 8. Keeper of the Door. Look at him. He's all got all kinds of goo all over him. I think he's got a, he's been in the Venom uh, Venom cupboard a little bit. Now, I know you guys have been demanding this next book, so you know, try to curb your enthusiasm for Iron Fist Heart of the Dragon. Uh, issues one, issue two. Again, I have no idea why they hid the logo down there it could be up here it's not obstructing all this white noise you know bad it's a bad bad uh, cover choice there uh, for the logo and then we have cover uh, C on that iron fist versus aliens and again mm, he is gonna be one dead fist Next, from the uh, city that uh, fired their uh, Super Bowl coach, got Philadelphia. Cover A and cover B. Cover B is by Todd McFarlane. That's actually some really good artwork by Todd McFarlane. Uh, I am shocked how good it is, because uh, Todd's usually not not this good. Um, I know he's a big name and everything, but uh, but you know you don't have to be a big name and be good. Certainly lots of uh, music stars have proven that. Just watch any Super Bowl uh, halftime show. Now, it's time for the king. The king is going to make his appearance. The King in Black, issue three. Let's cover A. Let's cover... I want to say that's the 1 in 25 variant right there. Here you've got Null versus the aliens. He is going to win that all day long. All day long. He's going to... No problem. That is a spoiler variant. We'll cover that up really quickly. Of course, you knew what was coming. You, you guys watched. You know all the covers online. I'm not spoiling anything for you. And here is the connecting cover for King and Black number three. I read it. It's pretty damn good. I enjoyed it. So far, uh, all three issues have been very well done we'll see if he can continue uh, that with the issue four and five and however many more they're going um, as we all know sometimes life is strange 
that's issue 2.4 and there's the A, the B, and the C of the 2.4. Very excited about this book because the first uh, mini-series sort of showing how he got there was was very good. So here we have the new Maestro War in Packs, issue one. There's the A and B covers. There is a C cover. There is the 1 in 25 cover on that. And there is a Scotty Young cover. You know, see how people like that, see if people are excited about that. I know somebody up in uh, Flint, Michigan there is a big Scotty Young fan. Hopefully he's getting the copy coming into him. So we'll get these out of the way. Here we get issue three of, I think it's Miss Catonic. Issue three from Aftershock. And of course, from Boom Studios, issue number 15, we've got The Once and Future. Now we've got some Power Rangers coming up. This is issue three of Power Rangers. There you go. This is the, the what you call the legacy cover. So they got the number up there, but they start the series over. And here is the all black cover from Image Rain Like Hammers. So we've got those there. I'm going to pull these down because the next comics, they need their own, own spaces. And again, just to let you know, this is a cover A. That's an A there. There's, there might be a mistake. You know. And then you got a Lesnar cover. And you've got the great Michael Golden right there. Look at that cover there. Man, oh man. I'd like to see just where he cut him to see him bleeding like that. Uh, Ever After, issue four from Oni with Rick and Morty. The A's and the B's on that. Rick and Morty craziness. You know what to expect there. Expect the unexpected. Now, there is no Bruce Dickinson or Dave Murray or uh, Nico Flatface here or uh, Steve Harris, but this is the Robin Hood Iron Maiden, number one of two. There's the A and B of the Iron Maiden. Scream for me, Toledo, scream for me. And there is the cover C of the Iron Maiden for the Robin Hood. Now, just because we had Iron Maiden, I guess we have to have some Scumbag also. So this is issue three of Scumbag. There you go. And look on the back. It's it's Scum, Scumbag, or it's Bags, Scumbag, Bond, James Bond. Again, I do not like how the cover designs on these are with the logos at the bottom. Uh, I ordered strictly two Salado knows if they had the logos at the top and I knew people could find them on my on my shelves I'd probably order more but because they don't I don't take any extra risks than what I have to. But that's issue number and see looking at it you can't even tell oh it's issue number 16. Uh, it's, it's not it's not evident looking at it what issue number it is. Now we've got issue three of Star Trek Voyager, Seven's Reckoning, and we've got Dr. Aflac. I know it's Dr. Afra. I call her Dr. Aflac. Uh, issue number seven of Dr. Aflac. We've got Stillwater number five from Image. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 113. Covers A and B. There is the 1 in 10 retailer variant. We've got Jenica 2, issue 3. That's the only cover. And then you've got the 1 in 10 variant. 
You've got Transformers War World, War World number 27, cover A and B. And we should do a drinking game. You guys should do a drinking game on how many covers is going to be on Van Helsing number 50. Should do a drinking drinking game on that. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you can see the cover. And then we'll flip it around so you can see the back. And we'll, and it looks like, yes. There we go. Look at that. Nice try, try cover there. And that's cover A. So that's one drink. B makes two. C makes three. Come on, put those, get those shots down them. Come on, act like you're back in college or in the Navy. You know, there is D, there's some E, and you've got your F. I know what you're saying. F, there's no artwork on this damn thing. Why, F it all. But that's how it happens. That's, that's what happens in rock and roll sometimes. You get effed all the way to place. And then we're down to the last few titles. The Walking Dead Deluxe, number seven. We've got the A, B, and the Art Adams makes C. Look at Art Adams, man. That guy is so good. See, his artwork's so good he knocked that book over because that that this this comic just can't compare with with Art's Art's art, art artwork. He's just, that's how good of an artist he is. He just made that guy quit. Now, we live number four from Aftershock. We do have another Alien covers on X-Force number 16. And if you look at this cover here, you might say, well, you've seen that cover before. If you've got old Uncanny X-Men comics, Go look up issue 166. You'll see that cover there. That artist did a nice homage to uh, the Paul Smith cover on Uncanny X-Men 166. Yasmin number six from Scout Comics. And I know somebody's probably upset because they look like death. Issue number five, cover A, cover B, and then you've got cover C there. You've got blue monkeys there. If you put your uh, put your monkey in the telephone uh, booth for way too long, it turns blue. So you got to lit off on it a little bit, a little bit, get some blood back into it, or it turn blue. You know, when you want your monkey turning blue like that, then its, it's head might fall off. But you've got one more comic, and it's Zorro. Uh, it's issue number three. If you like these videos, as always, please subscribe. It helps the channel. Please like the videos. Please be sure to share. And uh, again, on Wednesday, be sure to thank your comics retailer for any for everything that they do. And then also this weekend, we've got uh, we got the AFC and NFC Championship games. I should have mentioned this earlier. But be sure to check out the shop's Facebook page if you're in the area. I will have another special sale on Monday and Tuesday. If the Bills, I, I expect the Bills to win. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. But you know, after it happens, you're like, damn, JC was right. And I expect Tampa Tom to beat the old, old uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Aaron Rodgers there. You look at him in those commercials, those uh, insurance commercials, and he's kind of a dick a little bit to the guy. He's playing golf. And he's like, well, I'll take, I'll take it easy on you. It's like, well, it's not your deal. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to kick your ass then. You know, so he's a bit of a dick there. Uh, but I expect uh, the, the the Bucks to win, and I expect the Bills to win. So it'll be a special sale. Now, if they both win, the sale will be a little bit better. But if either one of them win, there'll still be a special sale. Be sure to check the shop's Facebook page. I'll post something probably tomorrow or Thursday. But other than that, hope everybody has a great weekend and, and enjoy your comics. Which comics are you looking forward to? Comment. Tell me. Thank you.